hard to breathe, but that's alright. Hush. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a very long time, um, but I thought I would come back, make some videos I want to make. Hopefully you'll enjoy them. thought I would come back to Crusader Kings 2 and do just a casual base game uh, campaign playing as Milan of Italy. So, we're starting in 1066. We are playing as Duke Alberto Azzo of Milan, currently aged 57, so we'll probably die fairly soon. Um, and the aim being to one day restore the Kingdom of Italy. Now to do so we need to hold 51%, uh, we're currently holding 17%, so we need another 19 counties within Italy. Uh, at the moment we are under the rule of the Holy Roman Emperor so we are nowhere near as big or powerful uh, as we intend to be so there's a bit of us bit of scope for us to grow which is good so starting off uh, first things first let's set our ambition so we've got three kids three sons so i've got a bastard son my heir who is yugo who seems to be coming along fairly nicely personal combat skills a bit abysmal but I can live with that we also have Falco and my bastard son who is married to Bavaria so my bastard son is actually living in Bavaria he won't come and join me which is unfortunate so I can't really do much with him Let's look at the council. Okay, council wise, we're not in the best of shapes. Pretty poor diplomacy from the Chancellor. So, I think what I'm gonna do is try and get some decent characters into the kingdom whilst the game is fresh. Uh, join courts, please. And we've got a Swedish Catholic, that's fine by mate, he's a genius. Falconer. Right, Bjorn, you look like a champ. Wanna join? Do you wanna get married or anything? Not yet, so... He's got a decent marshal as well. Speaking of marshal, who's good here? Remand of Toulouse, 17, and he's a 17 year old, yep. You wanna come in? And we also need a good steward. Steward of Wales. I just touched. Excellent. Let's bring you in. And you also have a, a claim on some Welsh lands. I don't think we'll be able to press those for you, I'm afraid, Highwell, but we'll uh, use you nonetheless. Okay. So I'm going to let time roll because we want to start generating money. Oh, well, actually, I say that. Let's just check on the lay of the land. So, Helan. We have the Duchy of Milan, which incorporates these additional three counties, which at the moment are not within my dukedom. So I want to be able to claim them, and at the moment they are independent. So the Prince Bishop Bishopric of Livenin is independent under the Emperor at the moment. So I can straight up declare war. But having practice this I know that the Emperor can sometimes transfer the vassalage because he doesn't want all these independent vassals at the start of the game he wants to transfer them back to their rightful owners so hopefully all being well we will get Como and Livinien Livinien even without having to fight for them which would be really nice two free states which would be excellent we do however want to get if Ivrea and Monferrato straight into us, and I think Monferrato is the slightly stronger of the two. Yeah, also in taxes as well. So, once my new Chancellor comes, first thing he's going to do is straight up go for a claim against Monferrato. 
I suspect what will happen is it will get given to Savoy, which is unfortunate because these four states form the Duchy of Susa, I believe. Yeah, uh, which is an Italian duchy, and we'll need those states in order to form the Kingdom of Italy. But for now, if we get these two states, that sort of doubles our demise already, which will be a really nice addition. So let's roll with that and see how that goes. In the meantime, we're going to lead... Ah, okay, so the Kaiser has transferred Livinian to us. Is he going to... Yes, he has. Okay, so Komo is also with us, so that's good. So as you can see, both are now vassals under me. Probably hate my guts, although not too bad. They would hate me more if I had declared war on them, so this works out fairly well. And in fact, he's he's not that fast. So that's good. So we've got our... I think this is our Marshal? Yes, Toulouse. So you can start training troops. Do you want to get married? You're already married, okay. Wow, she's a great learner. Uh, did... Our steward arrived? No, so it's just the marshal that has arrived at the moment. That's fine. In terms of building, I'm going to need a lot of money for these wars, and money's going to be really important for us going forward. So, I'm... Ah, let's just... So, two people have arrived, that's great. Castle Town is going to be an upgrade I want to get as soon as possible. And to do that, we need Castle Walls too. So we're going to upgrade the Castle Walls straight off the bat. And... In terms of the Chancellor, straight up to Bjorn, I want you to fabricate claims straight away, which would be really nice if we can get a claim on this before he goes to Savoy. Okay, hold on. Some good stuff has just happened, so it looks like the Kaiser's gone to war with France. So the Kaiser's gone to war with France over a du jour claim, so that's good for us. Hopefully some more land will come into the Empire. And France is actually run by Philip, who's still a kid. So his troop retinue is not as big as it could be. Although I suspect I was probably pretty poor as well. Oh, 20,000, that's not too bad. Considering probably most of his vassals are not that keen. Oh, I'm mistaken, they're all keen, okay. Well, the Kaiser's doing right for a 16-year-old. Uh, looks like my wife has just died as well. Okay. Well, that's nice. So we can get someone half decent for us. Someone with good stewardship would be good to increase our demite size. Uh, and a good alliance would be nice as well. So, this would get me an alliance with the Prince of Hungary, not the Kingdom of Hungary. An alliance with the King would be nice. Ah, King of Hungary. So you are... What are you to him? You're his mum. He's got decent stewardship. I think she's the one. That gets me some good prestige as well. And a non-aggression pact with Hungary. And a potential alliance with Hungary as well. And Hungary is just over here. Yeah, this is pretty fortuitous. Let's uh, let's do that. Uh, oh, ambition. Before I do that, we should set to get married. Because that's some free piety for nothing. And let's hope that he says yes. So my other du jour claim that I can press at the moment is for Brescia, which is this county here. Ah, so. Uh, excellent. So they are getting married. And we get a little bit of a donation there. Excellent. 40 gold. That's nice. So Brescia is owned by Tuscany. But Tuscany at the moment is pretty much the powerhouse of Italy. No chance I can beat them with their 3,000. But we're not that far off, so that's that's quite good. So we're now married. My wife probably hates me. Different culture. Oh, she hates me because we're zealous. What about if I send you some money? She's still going to hate me. 
Uh, so it's probably not worth sending her any money. And to be honest, Alberto is probably going to get too old for kids, but we'll give it a go to have a daughter to see if we can get any other alliances, because that would be nice. In the meantime, my heir could get us an alliance with Denmark or Navarra. Denmark's not too far away. She's 16, so as soon as we're of age we could marry. Yeah, I think we'd do that. It's probably not the best alliance for us, because Denmark's a fair bit away, but we'll go for it for now. Uh, he has accepted, so that's good. That's good. Okay. In terms of my other... Oh, I forgot to appoint you, sorry. Highwell, get to get taxes. Why are you annoyed at me? Because I'm a foreigner. What if I get you married to someone? Why don't you marry someone with high stewardship? She's Irish. I'm not that fussed. Let's see if he likes me a bit more. Do you want an honorary title, maybe? Why don't you become a regent? Let's see if that cheers you up a bit. Negative one. That's not too bad. Uh, is accepted marriage. Does that make you improve? Not really. Well, we'll see how that goes. Uh, in terms of my spy master, it would be nice to get some technology. So, a big tech place is obviously the capital of the Byzantine Empire. So, if I can pop you in Constantinople, that would be good. And it would be nice to research some cultural tech in our heartland so let's do that in Milan and that should make all my council fairly busy for now which is good okay so fun wise we're sort of back to where we were we're building up the castle walls and then we're going to need to save quite a bit of money to get the castle town I'm hoping we'll get the claim for Monferrato fairly shortly. Let's have a look at claims we can press. We can get some counties in France, but not for anyone that's already a vassal, so it won't really help me. Yeah. Although Hugo, it said, has... So we can claim Maine. Where's Maine? Not that we'll be able to take on France, but out of interest, why do we have this claim? Presumably from my mother. Okay, so we've got a couple of claims in Normandy, but quite frankly, we're not going to really be pressing them just yet. I mean, unless... How weak's this guy? Oh, sorry, my misclick there. Count Robert. Your liege is Duke William. Oh, of course, it's William of Normandy, so he's going to be pretty massive right now. And some bloody good stats. So we'll have to hold off for that. I doubt we'll even do it, but that's interesting to see anyway. Whilst this war is going on, it would be really nice to get this claim just for a quick land grab. I would appreciate it, but I'm not sure we're going to get the claim, which is a little bit annoying. How are you doing in your war? Because it looks like France has got a few more troops. Yeah, France is currently winning, which is a little bit disappointing from the uh, Emperor. But I guess, see how that continues. Uh, Troop-wise, how are we doing? We're training troops. Currently you can get over 2,000 in my own retinue. That's not too bad. Some of my vassals are now hating me. We're getting minus one a day, which is a bit of a pain. Probably because I'm owning too much land, but... Oh dear, he's created the Duchy of Sousa, which makes me think he's going to transfer... the counties, which I don't really want. Otherwise, I'll have to go to war with Savoy, but I've got some decent allies. Well, actually, I need to turn them into allies. Will they even become allies? That's a good point. Sweden, how about it? 
Sweden's a no, which is a little bit disappointing. What about you? You're also a no, that's pretty bad. Okay, how about rather than having a daughter, we improve our diplomacy? I can't do that just yet. Okay, that's a bit of a mistake on my part, but that's fine. We will resolve that. Ah, uh, yeah, so Ivria and Monferrato have now joined Savoy, but Savoy's getting a little bit battered by France. And Savoy is ruled by a fairly young leader who's got far less troops than me, which is good, despite the fact that he's got two duchies, which is a little bit absurd. But that bodes well if we can claim certainly the four territories of Susa. That's what I want. That gives us some more land grab in Italy, which is what we need to form the Kingdom of Italy. Uh, so that's quite a lot actually done in this episode. The castle wall should be built fairly shortly. Probably by the time they're done we'll be well on the way to getting money for the castle town. Uh, unless we get the claim for Monferrato and then I'm just going to go straight for that and get the county because more land, more money, more troops. Uh, in the meantime I think I will stop this episode here. Uh, if you do enjoy, please like, comment, and subscribe.